Hello and welcome to this tutorial video about lock screen. One of iPhone and iPod Touch missing tools is a way to show important information in a main screen. In case your device is lost or stolen, the person that finds it won't be able to contact you, especially if you are used to protect it with a security code. There are other situations where it may be very important to let people know information about your health, blood group or allergies. Lock screen was born with this purpose and I'm going to show you how to use it at best. The screen you see the first time you launch the application is a quick help with a link to this video tutorial. Add a new object or background image to make it fade away. Let's start adding a wallpaper. Tap the tab name background then the first button on the left. You have three options. Choose an image from your photo album Use one from the application, or if your device has a camera, you can get a new photo right there. In this tutorial, I'll choose one from the images included in the application. Swipe your finger on the screen until you find one you like. For example, this one. Now you can change the position, the rotation angle, or the zoom of your image. These buttons will rotate it by a fixed angle to give you a more precise control of the object. The one in the middle will let you reset one or all the changes you have made. The gradient button is useful to apply several shadings to the image, for example when there's a gap between the border and the dark background. It's no time to add some object. Tap on the Tools tab to select the object screen. When you leave the background mode, your image will be locked. To edit it again, you need to return to the background tab. The first object I'm going to show you is called Model. A model is a complex object with several elements you can personalize. This one in the example is useful to store your main contact data. There are other models you can select. Feel free to play with them. To change the color scheme, go to the Color tab. Let's return to the Format tab, where we can start to personalize the object. With the first button, you can protect the object from editing. Border will change to a flashing red and you won't be able to move, rotate or change the contents. This is very useful for when the area is full of objects, so you won't change something by mistake. The Pencil button will assess to Edit Mode, where to change the model's text contents. Use the arrows to move the focus between fields or click on them with your finger. Another way to access edit mode is double tapping on the object. The next three buttons work the same way of background image with rotation and reset functions. This is the Preset button. It will move your object to many different default positions. This model has two, top and bottom. The Trash button will delete the object. Remember, and this is valid for all the objects, you can manipulate them with finger gestures. Let's now return to the tool screen to add another typology of object. Tap an empty area of the screen or the big top bar. The next button will add a multi-line text field. Choose the font and the color. Pressing again the color tab, you can change the background color and its transparency percentage. You already know the lock, edit and rotation buttons. To change the font size, use these two buttons. Like the model, edit mode can be reached double tapping the object or using the pencil button. The three little buttons will change the alignment, while the trash one will clear the text area. Keep in mind that when you have a selected object, you don't need to put finger on it to move or rotate. 
any empty area on the screen will work, especially the big top bar. Don't worry if you move something out of the screen, a useful function won't make it disappear. The next button lets you create a to-do list. You can change the style of a checkbox and the color scheme of the object. In the format section, you already know all the buttons, lock, edit, rotation, and preset. As you can see, the preset button has four default positions for this object. To edit a to-do list, double tap on it or use the edit button. Use the arrows to move in the rows or select them with your finger. To delete a row, select it and press the small X. To mark a line as done, click on the checkbox symbol. Remember, they won't be able to change the checkbox state once the wallpaper will be in the device lock screen. This is a limit imposed by Apple as the final result will be just an image. Last object you can add to your wallpaper is calendar. You can choose between three different styles and various color schemes with background transparency level. As you can see, there's a new couple of buttons in the main bar and they're used to change the calendar mouth. Keep your finger pressed on them or, as usual, double-click on calendar object to choose a custom date. The middle button will select the current date, while the other two will accept or cancel the change. There are two buttons that are always available in every menu area of the application. The first one is the Help screen and will give you specific explanation of the section you are in. The second is the preview button. It will show you exactly how the finished wallpaper will look once you place it in the device lock screen. Tap anywhere to return to edit mode or slide the button to the right to save the wallpaper in your photo application. Once done, the instructions about how to use it with your device are shown on display. Let's do it together. Press the Home button to return to the device springboard and launch the photo application. Enter in your camera roll and choose the last saved image. Press the menu button and use as wallpaper. You can move or scale the image by suggesting you not to do because it's already correctly aligned to the screen. Press Set button and choose Set Lock Screen. We are done. If you lock your device and turn it on again, you can see your wallpaper at work. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, please contact us at this email address. Have a nice day.